We need that today. We have to go fix some stone from plow damage. Isn't that cool? That's a little wonder edger like a sidewalk edger and then it has a rotating handle you can actually take this whole edger and you can turn it that way or you can rotate it back that way or straight up and down isn't that neat it's kind of like a stick edger for doing sidewalks only it's a walk behind one not very convenient to keep in the trailer but i'm wondering if it'll do some flower beds I do have my bed redefiner that I got last year. It's made by steel. So, I don't know. I don't know. I could find some projects to use that for, or use that on for sure. Um, it was free. Ryan gave it to me. So, I'm gonna have some fun with it and we'll see what I can do. Maybe it'll be good since it's like a regular engine on there i don't even remember what horse it is i'll have to look at it better but maybe since it's a regular engine on there and not like a weed whacker type edger I'm, I'm sure it's probably a lot stronger so i have a few areas that um people have sidewalks are just massively overgrown that you know um that i just took over that have never been edged so maybe i'll use that to break in the first edge on it because i mean it's probably strong enough to eat right through it so i don't know it's pretty cool though Now, I don't know if you could tell in the video, but this in here was thick like this. That's got to be, well, there's my hand. It's about the length of my fingers. Three, four inches thick, so, and that push up no problem. This thing kicks your butt. The Husqvarna one I used a long time ago wasn't nearly as heavy. This one's definitely heavier. Um, I don't, this ain't something I don't think you could use all day. Um, on Up there on the driveway part, on blacktop on concrete you can use it all day it's so nice and light easy you get on the grass and stuff like this it pushes you back it's hard to control you gotta like put your hips into it almost so but i pushed a bunch of stone in the ditch here this winter too it's just so soft and it just filled these holes this is that long driveway you guys have seen some of my videos um i don't mow this right side i mow the left side that wide area all the way back so i'll have to check for some stone damage up there but i knew the worst would be out here i got something to do over there too so let's get at it
Now see, the smart thing to do would have been to bring a rake, but I forgot one. So I gotta use a shovel to smooth it. But now I gotta get that stuff out of there. It shouldn't be too bad. But I gotta dig this ditch back out. <laughs> Cause apparently I pushed all the stone down in there. What a pain. I ain't getting it all out and it ain't gonna be perfect, but it'll be better. I could always be the one you wanna call when it's cold outside. I will always be the one that's right here standing by your side. Open up your heart and let me in. I promise not to break you. I promise I'll be all, all that you want. So not look like much but that's a lot of stone in there and I can see the water running through all the water that is over here on this side hear me winded even with all that cardio I do all the time 40 year old man haven't done nothing but in the gym this winter and plowing snow digging stone kicks your ass but anyway you can see that now water's flowing starting to fill this ditch up I'll dig that out a little more use the pedal wheel on some of that when it's too thick that pedal wheel just digs in and it stays put and it pushes back at you so it's really not your best friend in that instance um, do I think this is better than a push broom or a rake in a lot of cases yes but in a lot of cases no like this over here I do much better with a rake leveling this out I'm gonna have to do most of it with a shovel. I'll get the stuff off the road with the power broom. But other than that, it just digs right in and it'll put it back. It'll move it forward easy, but it'll put it right back into another pile. So I'm gonna dig this out a little more. That water's, yeah, it's really right in there now. Good deal. I'm gonna dig that out a little more so it can run through better. And then I'll use the paddle wheel on that edge to get it up here. And then the paddle wheel, like I said, over there in that. Then I'll go up and check the areas by the house. Hopefully there ain't too much. This is kicking this old man's butt. I need a couple of them trolls. The kids are always trolling my page, acting tough. I need them out here doing some of this work. It takes a lot more energy using a shovel than pressing on a keyboard. <laughs>
there's definitely more stone I could take out of there. And I'm gonna come back and do that. I'm gonna go check up there by the house first, give myself a break. And I'll come back and shovel out that last little bit, clean that out. But uh, this was loaded with stone. A little bit there, I gotta sweep it. I gotta dig that chunk of dirt off there and then hit it with the sweeper. Clean that up good, clean this up good. So, standing back, you know, I filled in a lot of this hole. It has to be raked out, but this is all gonna settle now, this stone. Um, it won't go that far, but it'll kind of even out as people come in now this driveway. It'll disperse a little bit, push off to the sides a little bit, and then in about a week or two, I'll come back here with my metal rake, and I'll rake over it. Oh. I think I just won the Dumbass of the Year award. Look at this. My metal rake is always there. I literally never take it off the truck. It sat there all winter, and it's there all summer. Really. Now I'm gonna rake some of this. like a dog in heat. Oh, good thing I stopped at Dunkin' Donuts and got coffee. Because this truck is not mowing, mowing season ready. See? Got my jump pack, the other GoPro down there. Whole ton of GoPro mounts over here. But I don't have... I don't have like my microfiber towels and stuff yet. So... Let's take a look at this property. So, I mow this. You guys have seen me mow this before. I think I've only filmed it once or twice. Um, but this part here stays underwater till damn near June. Just this little section. Last year we had so much rain that this whole property got damn near a foot tall, foot and a half tall before I could come in and cut it. It was a mess. That area where you see water over by that house, it was. It usually holds there too. And then there's another little spot up here, but last year all of this was underwater. Now, my customer lives in this house straight ahead up there, okay? And, well, she don't live there. It's a summer house. She has a house that's uh, a couple streets away from where I live, actually. Last year, at the end of the year, she bought this house, too. So, I think I'm going to be mowing this one this year, too. But last year in spring, this whole thing was underwater because we had so much rain. I couldn't get in to mow anything. Now there's that, uh, there's a little bit right in there. And there's a little bit right over there and in that area there. But it only goes over to about where you see that telephone pole. But that all the way out to the road. This area's still got a lot of water in it. Um, yeah. A nice old uh, Cadillac there. Sits there all the time. They don't ever drive it, never goes anywhere. But they paved this part. And then I mow that little part in front of the cabin there. But this side part and the back part by the water, I don't mow any of that. Um, the neighbor always does it. The guy that lives right here, he always does it. But I got some stone right there. I got to get out here. And then there's a little bit over here where I pushed up. I just got to kind of level that out a little. So let's uh, see if I can get that moved. camera's flashing at me it's about to die but this here is what I put here this winter this here is from the last guy that plowed you can see I just went over it look you see it all embedded in there under the dirt 
That's because this stone's been sitting here a long time. I figured I'd try to get some of it for get the bulk off of there, but uh, the camera's about to die, so I'm gonna skim across the top of this again and see if I can get the bulk of it off there for her anyway.